Okay, so we're going to run this path. I'll show you the tractor in a second, but we're going to come here from the left and make a series of um, concentric rings. And the, the oblong shape is because of the way the yard is laid out. And it finishes, obviously not terribly elegant, but it has to do with the um, currently got it programmed so that the turning radius is 1.8 meters. So this is just an artifact of that turning rate and me trying to, uh, ultimately it will cut grass, but today I'm not going to run the mower, it's, you're just going to see it running that path. And there's the remote radio control. This switch is currently in manual mode. I'm going to flip it up and it's going to start executing, start executing that path. Turn the auto mode on now. going to turn right just before it gets to those hedges. And then it's going to go up to these hedges on the right and then make another right. Obviously I can make it tighter but until I get comfortable with the GPS I'm not trying to cut things down to the last inch. I'll try to stand right here for the next time around. It's running about 0.75 meters a second. That seems to be about as fast as I can get this pure pursuit algorithm to run at the moment and not be weighty in the steering. hand, so to speak, it wasn't algorithmically calculated, which means I visually selected the lines, tried to get them to be about a meter apart.
once it gets stable, I would rearrange the electronics and obviously it needs to be waterproof. Like putting a cover over it or something. Uh, and that's a premature stop. Not sure why I did that. Could have lost RTK signal for a second or could have lost connection with the radio control that I've got in my hand. It's programmed to stop if it loses LoRa signal from the radio control. You can see it picked back up. These are the finishing runs. If it loses RTK, it, it should take wheel odometry. Uh, so that stop earlier was probably due to the lower radio signal dropping for just a second. Pretty much you can only see what's on top. There's some other uh, boards on the bottom, but you can see the white globe is obviously the GPS antenna survey grade. This um, is the GPS. It's where you see version 3.87 on there. That's the actual GPS module. The rest of that board is a development board. Uh, that board is a microcontroller, an ESP32 ESP microcontroller with LoRa built in. Uh, you can see the LoRa antenna. Uh, this antenna is connected to uh, an Ethernet antenna to try to give the laptop a little bit more connectivity. This antenna is receiving correction data over, I think, 915 megahertz, or have a, a base station sending out GPS correction data. Here's an IMU, which gives me heading information, safety, kill stop. I can stop it either there or I, on the radio control that I'm holding in my hand. I've got a switch here that uh, I can turn it off as well. And the red handle is for a master power. There's a lithium battery that I built. Oh, that's underneath there. And the motor controller is underneath there as well as um, a relay switch to turn a couple things off and on. That is power steering motor out of a, oh, it's a General Motors motor and they put it in a couple of different brands like the Saturn and I think uh, previously Grand Prix. So that's a little bit of an overview. Thanks for watching.